Finally got my rings back on. Oh, happy day. Time for your <laughs> August to mid-August read of this current year. Congratulations. I totally forgot about Aries and tell them shit, but that's okay. Um, time for your reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course. Yeah, I totally forgot to tell them that. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. We're going to see what's happening with you guys now. I think we're getting into yeah we're yeah we're in Leo season now so I'll have to do a reading for Leo season. Let's see how that shit's gonna go. Right, right. So let us see what is happening with you guys. It's gonna be a six way, so it's gonna be really quick, right? You got your waiting for something, and what you're wanting and wishing for is something not to die. Probably Scorpio in this as well. Let's see, we have... Fears and Rejection, Six of Pentacles? Or Nine of Pentacles? For what? <laughs> like, for what? What for? What is that for? Look, King of Pentacles right here. That's probably right there. That's the situation, Taurus. What is this? What is this? What are, what, what are you rejecting? Here's the rejections is, um, Six of Cups reversed. Bad memories and shit. Traumas. What's circling around? What started this and what'll make it come full circle? Third party situation. Possibly leaving, yeah. Third party situation possibly leading to a breakup or overindulgences or like, you know, go, not using moderation. Let's say that. Like someone's not moderating their intake, right? It's probably what this Nine of Pentacles is all about. The beginning theme, the star, Aquarius's card. Lack of communicating, lack of reaching out, not really wanting to... um deal with one person or another or just with the community as well a lot of arrogance um omniscient anger stubbornness so let's see it's like you're afraid to be alone Like, you're sitting here wondering if you should even keep this shit coming, but the obstacle is all this bad juju or bad shit that happened back in the day, man. And it's like you're afraid of being on your own, even though you'd have money, and it's just like, you, you're like, do you really need anybody else other than that? Like, sure, it, it, like, connecting with people is all awesome and shit, but, you know, if they're causing you problems. And I feel like you might be the one of the Scorpio who might not want to change. Like, you have a pentacle offer, but they'd still, like, rather squash you with a bug and, like, still be, like, I guess spending all your money and shit. I feel like that's a problem. I feel like you need to, like, throw them on the floor and, and break all of their china. Like, you're a bull. Because you are a bull, Taurus. Or something, I don't know. It's like this person's not... It's like whatever the situation is for you is not grounded. Yeah, you're wondering if you should steal away, but you're also scared about getting caught up in shit, too. Like, there's a sense of sneakiness, but there's also a sense of, like... Hmm. What the hell? Ooh. Hello. Look at all these pretty cards. Oh, okay. So, like... It's like someone's tempting you to come outside. Hey, 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 come out and play. Du, 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 du. You know? And this is somebody who's not, like, magician. And I just did it. I just actually am uploading a video about a magician who is not liking the fact... Like, I think that magician's actually watching my videos because it was like... I started it last night... And I got this really intense headache after like, I think seven or eight minutes of me rambling and being stupid. And then like this morning I decided to face it up because it's just like, I'm wondering if this magician's watching me while my videos. And that's what happened. Because there's a lot of secrets and a lot of uh, bullshit. A lot of bullshit. Like someone's got an obsession right here. I was literally singing like, that's somewhere. Well, like I was singing that song earlier in the reading, like, you know, you're my obsession, you're my obsession, 
What do you want me to do to make you sleep with me? Am I obsession? Like, I, I don't think I was singing that for Aries, but it was like somebody. I think it was in the magician video. It's like someone was obsessed, and they. And I think you got a magician. I think everyone's got a magician. I think Leo season is going to be the season where the magician gets exposed. All right, this King of Pentacles, right? He's still given, but it's like to a world he's creating. Not to the real world. So that could be you. You might be still investing in a world that you have created for yourself, but it might not be entirely good for you, as far as I can see. Like, you're trying to wonder if you should keep even investing in this to sneak away, but you're worried about getting caught. Wants and wishes. Possibly a Scorpio, but it's like, somebody's not ending, or somebody's not changing their ways. That might cause you, um... Taurus to turn your back on them or turn your back on the entire situation because it's not becoming anything different than what it is like you're being patient though but it's like mm. and that's possibly your counterpart too now trauma issues of the past possibly childhood issues six of cups reverse this is the obstacle it could be a very traumatic breakup if you're breaking up with somebody a very kind of open breakup, too, where I think it's, like, it's going to possibly look really ugly. Let's see. Like, reflecting horrible off of each other. It's, like, a lot of chaos. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Um. The fears of rejections is a reflection of that, too. Well, even the same chicken dude too it's like there's a fear that you have to be alone because the relationship isn't healthy and neither of you two are really helping each other like I want to connect to this person but I know they're trash but it's like you're both ref showing each other's masks to each other so it's like when you call them it's like a reflection of you which, you know, I hate saying that because sometimes people don't really reflect off of each other. Some people are really are trash. And I hate saying that, but it, it that is the case. You know, some like everybody's got good points and bad points, but sometimes, you know, you're on the money and it's like you guys just aren't good for each other. You bring out the worst in each other. I think that's what you're afraid of. Or you're rejecting the idea of, of uh, like, it's like being alone is tempting. But it's also like you're rejecting it because you don't want to be alone. You you feel like the relationship would you feel like a breakup would be a, a trauma for you, like which is like okay. But like you know, I understand that. Or maybe the breakup will be traumatic because the person would react poorly, which I can completely understand that. Um, What's coming full circle? What's coming around and coming around? This overindulgence or like third party situation, someone wants to move forward from that. Or, or gain a victory in this somehow with the chariot. Um, speak their words with um, Hermes' little wand here, being like, I'm coming in, it's Britney, bitch, you know? <laughs> uh, Empress is the ending thing. So, someone wants to sit on their throne and be pretty and really not communicate about any of this. I feel like... Or maybe you're afraid that because of how bad you guys are in a relationship, this person might possibly try to ruin your chances of being financially independent of them. Because I feel like you're really done with this person. In some way, one way or another, you're just annoyed. And it's just like, I cannot believe that, like, I'm dealing with this right now. Um, someone's got their intuition on, but it's like they're keeping shit to themselves. And they're looking at the outside world like, I'm getting out of here. I don't know how yet, but I'm getting out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Taurus, you're ready to fucking go. Could be from a water sign who keeps their emotions hidden and doesn't really express anything until, like, you know, I, I figure until they're ready to just go off on you, maybe, for whatever reason. 
Man, every, like, so far, Aries and you are, are getting shit from, like, a water sign or an air sign. At least that's what I'm getting from it anyway. But, yeah, it seems like you got a lot of uh, stuff to work with right now. Whatever you're deciding to do, like, do it because it's good for you. Not just because you think it's the right thing to do. Because what you think could be the right thing to do 5, 10, 20 years from now, you'll realize it wasn't. So do what feels right. Go with your gut. Not with who you love, not what you think. Go with the gut. Because the gut will always tell you what the right thing to do is. That's normally the first instinct that pops into your head. Sometimes you might have to sit there and think, well, should I do this? But if you do, but you know, believe me, like, it's your gut. It is your gut. And sometimes you just gotta let a motherfucker know, even if it hurts him. But that was your reading, Taurus, for the beginning to mid of August. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. And if you want a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. As well as some of the playlisted uh, live streams I use for the backgrounds of these videos. You guys have a good day and take care. Don't let anyone fuck you up. It's Leo season. Go out there and be a motherfucking star. Go twerk a little bit. Make you happy. There, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Did it go off? No. Shit. <laughs>